touch screens or capacitive buttons might look modern and have a lot of functionality, but they will never replace this feeling. Oh, lovely. That's the stuff. One of the most exclusive SUVs now comes as a sporty version, the Bentley Bentayga S. Here with Thomas and Autogefühl. Let's go. Of course, the Bentley looks strong from the front, but here in the S version, all blacked out to create a more sinister look to be that sportiest version. Even though this won't be the most powerful one engine wise, it will be the sportiest one. Why? Let's dig into the details. And beautiful retro style round headlamps and turning indicators are here right next to it. The length at 5 meters 13 or 202 inches, pretty massive as for length. The base platform is shared with the Audi Q7, the VW Touareg, the Porsche Cayenne, Audi Q8 of course, and yeah, the Lamborghini Euros. And if you say like, hey, this is just an expensive Q7, in a way that is correct, as well as the Lamborghini Euros is an expensive RS Q8. And that's actually a good thing because this technology sharing brings a lot of advantages and also reliability. Here, the S version of the Bentayga comes with 22 inch wheels in black styling. I mean, you can hide whole people in these holes <laughs> of the wheels. This is really massive. Also black accentuations right here and black mirror caps. The color for today here is cherry red. Can we take a second and enjoy this image composition? Nice, isn't it, right? With a beautiful tree, yes, here in Rome, Italy for you today. The Bentley Bentayga with this retro image and design here, the oval talums. Soon, very interesting feature to come about this one. And other than that, rather clean design here, then sporty black accentuations with a diffuser style for the S model and also black exhaust tips. Is that a job for the Audi Crew fake exhaust police? It's a tough question. So. The one side has a mechanical link, the other one is, you know, there's like something of a gap. Um, maybe not the typical case for a fake exhaust. Um, I think the police could stay home. Or what do you think? And this is a turning indicator view from the rear. I mean, where have we seen that? Never actually. So you have round or oval turning indicators, but they're still cascading. That's something, isn't it? Oh, we also have the black spoiler here in the rear. Here also then with carbon fiber. This is the car key and probably you can use this as self-defense or also as weightlifting um, <laughs> replacement. But that's a cool thing, you know, because everything tells you, yeah, I'm not small, but I'm worthy to be the key fob of this vehicle. And the same also counts for the door handles, thick and just, just listen to that, you know, just the sound when you pull them out, actually, plop, that is just so beautiful. And you've already seen here, this does have a soft close, magic, but let's also listen to the slamming sound because that also sounds great. And have you seen that? This one even can be slammed and then still closes softly. Inside of the doors, then in your bespoke color combinations, this is also the name sound system. And yeah, one of my favorite features, it, always here the high floor mats. This just brings so much premium feel and also here this brushed aluminum S entry badge. Here also with a sportier perforated steering wheel at the side, red contrast stitches here then with this you know, red contrast scheme here as well. The cool thing to me, why it would be my favorite Bentayga, standardly these seats would come with Alcantara inserts. They haven't put one here now, probably to tease my patience or something. Um, yeah, but uh, as I said, the S seats usually with Alcantara in the middle to have the sportier material. Of course, you should go for that to have the sportier and more cozy driving experience and to give them the signal for more animal friendliness. What I love about all vehicles of this platform is that you kind of have this, you know, even entry sill. So the sill is kind of at the same level than the base floor. Just here, there's a level difference because of the high floor mat. It's just creates a very special feeling and indeed super comfortable as for the seating position. 
headroom here to the side with one with 86 or 601 no problem steering wheel can be adjusted here with this rather tiny metal knurled stick so it's really rough actually you shouldn't move your your skin over it but that you know it just resonates quality and also on the steering wheel real buttons and also with metal knurling i just love that you know it is a modern vehicle but still it gives you this retro quality touch that's what i appreciate most and here the controls for the seats they look like an airplane cockpit by themselves don't they interior overview clean but central here with a swinging line contra stitches and also these analog details to me this is the perfect mix you have a modern touchscreen your apple carplay and your android auto at the same time you have a manual volume knob you have analog lock you have real buttons at the steering wheel to me this is how it's supposed to be i want modern tech yes but since i'm driving that vehicle i also want real buttons to control easier while driving What's your take on that? Digital instruments, they look quite fancy. Also reminders of Audi. And here you can also switch the view in the middle. Then you can also have the map full screen. Well, almost full screen here. In this case here, the left side stays actually. That looks funny, doesn't it? And here now the analog clock in the interior next to these, yeah, let's we'll say these metal valves for the air winds which you can press in and also put out again infotainment system here we can see this is done the bentley internal uh, map and yeah that looks definitely vw group you can see here in yeah the eternal city so this is the home but again it could be a little bit faster so it doesn't look you know most more modern and also could react quicker definitely you can also have climate control in here but you know you have these buttons just use them you will probably also then use the apple carplay um or android auto um here we go why doesn't it directly hop to that is when you're here in the main menu and then click apple carplay then you can directly access it however if you use the hotkey here go back to the main and then for example hit phone here you always have to confirm, yes, Apple CarPlay, that's really annoying. And then you have the Apple CarPlay or Android Auto here. It's good integration and let's listen to this name sound system. Oh wow, awesome. This has such a rich and true sound. Also, you know, sonorous bass like, but not too, too much bass that it would be like, you know, uh, gangster style or something this is beautiful and my favorite audi ac is also in here clicking sound listen to that beautiful and the metal nerding around this is my favorite ac unit you can also get it in the audi a4 or in the audi a5 at this moment i hope still in the future i would just love to keep this wouldn't you as well middle console is inductive charging pad then here cup holders they are also adaptive so that's cool then start stop engine and also here you can select the driving modes Bentley driving mode is just when I say like this is how we decide how this car is supposed to drive actually then here also nice background for example for you know the, the front cubby hole and then you can fold this up and have your connections USB-C for the cable. For the panoramic roof you have a shade that goes all the way and then the panoramic roof here goes halfway kinda. Of course the bespoke styling is also continued here in the rear next to the sound system and you have the very same color combination just like in the front and of course here these high floor mats also for the rear passengers I love them. Well, you get in this vehicle either with socks or with freshly cleaned shoes. The latter one at this moment here, my um, no, soft touch leatherette shoes. And the cool thing is here that you can adjust the back part more, you know, lying back or more upright. Um, you can also slide it forward for a little bit more trunk length, but usually you want to enjoy more legroom and that's definitely sufficient right here. It's really comfortable. You sit upright and to me, Actually, it's even more comfortable than in one of the luxury sedans. And 
there is a big middle tunnel, yes, but sitting in the middle part would also easily work. And headroom, this is the one with the panoramic roof. It gets closed because of that, you know, sporty silhouette, but with one meter 86 or six foot one, five tall adults can easily be here. And your control central here, USB-C chargers. This is then the 12 volt power supply. And look at that, the cover for the 12 volt power supply. Ah, yeah. That's the thing I love about these vehicles, actually. <laughs> and you have here then another touchscreen. That's maybe um, more complicated than having just, you know, normal dials, but yeah, at least it looks fancy, doesn't it? And just how you know it from sedans, you can press this button and then you can also take the whole thing out and uh, have this um, iPhone, maybe, <laughs> with you. Yeah, then you can hold it in your hand and here you can control the temperature wirelessly and to me, the even more cool thing is the back part, because look at that. Metal knurling at the back part. Yeah, that's the stuff. Opening the trunk here, pressing that Bentley logo. It's a very cool solution. And then we have in length, approximately 120 in meters or 47 inches. And the width here, so about 115 or 46 inches. So actually very well usable, not too high, but here, this is high this nice high floor cover. This is a beautiful thing. I would always enjoy every day when I have this vehicle actually. Below, there's, you know, a little bit more sound equipment and so on. And you can also fold the seats here, at least in this version here with the five seater. And then we have a total length of, yeah, that's, you know, exactly here, this typical two meters or 78 inches. So the whole ruler goes in there. And here we have the nice puddle light projected underneath the door. Here the S entry badge is by the way illuminated at night. And at night we have here red ambient lighting also in the rear. In the front mainly at the inductive charging pad and at the inside of the doors. You get the Bentayga as the 3 liter V6 plug-in hybrid or as the 6 liter W12 that's still existent, yes, but here we have the 4 liter V8, 550 horsepower, and in the S version you have an acceleration figure not of 4.5 but of 4.4 seconds. That's half a second less quick than, or less quick, could also be named slower, <laughs> half a second slower than the W12, however, a little bit less of weight then, and also the suspension setup here is stiffer with this air suspension here with the Bentayga S, about 15%. Look at this, the dampening of the motor. I mean, this is so huge. It's the largest one I've ever seen. It's so soft and so thick, and it has a quilted structure like seats on the inside. Welcome to Thomas's Performance Driving Lounge with the Bentley Bentayga S. <laughs> Ooh, whoa, yeah, what about that? So that's impressive. Definitely sound-wise, this 4-liter V8. All-wheel drive, of course, with the rear-wheel bias, but the road here is quite uneven. 22-inch wheels, yeah they get even bigger nowadays. 22 inch wheels and the stiffer ride, 15% stiffer and also these anti-roll controls. Uh, you feel that because the car does stay upright all the time, it does not lean at all, although it is an SUV. That's of course a really cool thing on the cost of comfort and of course also on the cost of fuel economy. I did drive a lot of motorway to the way to this uh, nice road here and even if you have predominantly motorway, little city mix, 13 liters or more kilometers, that's even a good one. So 18 mbg US, 22 mbg UK. Yeah, that's of course what you have to swallow at the minimum scale, actually. But you do get this sporty ride. It's a lot of fun, precise steering, great handling indeed. The platform itself, told you earlier, really convinced of that, no matter which car of, you know, of that family you, you go for. It's just again when you want rather this vehicle to have a, like a very soft air carpet-like ride, then actually you do lose it here with the S version. 
I would like to have the Alcantara seats now because they would keep me tighter in the corners. Of course, on the animals can service you slide around a little bit more. So that definitely helps with that sporty setup. So you need to want that extra, you know, that, that sporty setup. Um, from the feeling I get from the road, the thing is, however, it is more the wheels than the suspension. Because it's an air suspension, you can live somewhat with it if it's just a little bit stiffer. That would actually be okay. It is indeed about the wheels. So if you seek a Bentayga or also you can transport that from to the Iris Q8 or the Porsche Cayenne, stick with smaller wheels. You won't lose so much sportiness, but you do lose comfort here with the bigger wheels. Interesting thing though, I think for Bentley, I think I like the, the rattling noise in the vehicle and also the road noise from the tires astonishingly high so hmm to be honest like the you know Audi SQ8 Audi RS Q8 um, or the Porsche Cayenne they're not cheap at all but way cheaper than this one and uh, as for this aspect they seem to be even more refined than here the Bentley that's the thing definitely having a lot of fun the seats uh, are not most comfortable here now about sporty driving. It does apply a lot of power to the lumbar area actually. And yeah, once again, because you slide in them quite easily, you can also put the bolts a little bit more narrow. This will help in fast driving definitely. But yeah, once again, the Alcantara seats, uh, they would definitely help even more. So cool thing is really the precise steering and of course also that that power from the engine but we are perfection in detail we see in you know interior deals like these but we also find some imperfection it's also something that has been the Bentley charm for a lot of years now just enjoy some more corners here with me yeah <laughs> gets quite rough so sometimes then you ask yourself whoa is this still an air suspension? Yeah, it still is, but again, stiff tone. But to me, once again, these huge wheels, they look... Am Sorry, I just want to hear you, the sound. They look amazing, these wheels, but I think they're a little bit too big than maybe 20 or 21 inch would be better than for having a better overall, you know, compromise of sportiness and comfort. Well, I do my best today to look Italian. Acceleration to the motorway. <laughs> that was 60 to 130. Woo! Yeah, I mean, that's what I enjoy about Europe or about the positive side of globalization. A German driving a British car in Italy it sounds just lovely, right? So, um, yeah, beautiful evening sunlight here close to Rome and we can enjoy some motorway driving here and also do some more agile driving. Just a few notes here to the motorway driving, 130 kilometers an hour, noise insulation is of course a superb, really great and we are in the sports mode when we go to Bentley modes, a little bit more silent from the engine and our suspension goes a little bit softer. I can actually also uh, change my glasses now that you can see my eyes and um, you know that lane kicking assist that might help me here when I'm steering with one hand so you can activate or deactivate it and the lane keeping assist here is actually quite helpful you know so um, it's not too obtrusive it does intervene a little bit but not too much so rather conservative and I think that's a good thing then for a sporty vehicle so you still have the feeling that you are in control and you can always deactivate it just with one click here that's great blind spot monitor here nice integration when I hit the turning indicator it also flashes beautifully done here the comfort with the stiffer air suspension and the anti-roll control which is also built in this car and the 22 inch wheels here on the well-made motorway it's actually quite okay, but in the city you do lose comfort, you don't have this air carpet riding feeling. This is definitely the sportiest Bentayga version out there and you lose comfort when the road is not that even as it is right here. But you do gain definitely the sportiness.
and let's discuss. I would like to know from you, is this or a vehicle like this a dinosaur for you and it belongs to the past? Or is it still a dream of a car and perfection in detail to you? Tell me in the comments. Well, Bentley is going electric, that's for sure already. And also they are developing animal skin alternatives for the interior. And I also think, why can't we somehow combine both, making a sustainable luxury world, having great perfection to detail still, analog things in the vehicle, things we can touch where you know you get a great feedback and so on and still can feel that the car would be alive but at the same time use less resources and also be better to the environment. I think both is possible. Would like to know what you think.